Hello guys, I Arpin Mahapatra, having seven years of IT experience as a business intelligence developer. This is my first YouTube video in this channel. Here we will discuss the question being asked by multiple product and services company. I'll bring the interview question on Tableau, SQL, Power BI and Data Warehouse concept. So let's jump into the today, today's interview, SQL interview question being asked by one of the uh, in, uh, leading investment bank. So let's in details of a bank uh, account. And we want to see the current um, balance of each uh, year on that uh, account. Okay, so this is the basically table. This table contains transactional ID type. Uh, that there are two different types of uh, deposit and withdraw, and transaction dates are there, and, and the amount it has been mentioned. So the output should be so in the year of 2022, 21, the whatever the current balance is there. And in the year of 2020, whatever the current balance is there, so it will give the current balance on yearly wise. So, for the better understanding, what I'll do, I'll just uh, yeah. So here I just copy all the data from uh, the SSMS to S, uh, uh, Excel uh, for our better understanding. So I'll just make a good format of it so that it will look good. And so here we will see uh, the withdraw amount. Okay, okay. this is uh, to convert it into the um, that part so so here we can see there are um, um, uh, transition id is there and the type is uh, withdraw and transition date is there so what do you have to find out like this is the summation of all the amount that has been withdrawn in the year of 2021 so it is 1068 and in the same way I'll just pull that out. So now we'll select the deposited amount and my bad. Can it convert that? So now we have to find out the amount which has been deposited uh, to that particular uh, account in the year of 2022. It has been deposited. That is one. Uh, so it will be looks like this. So the year 2021, the amount which has been uh, deposited minus the amount which has been uh, withdrawn that will be the current balance in that particular year likewise we have to find out on each year what is the current balance so let's jump into the what we will do Okay, so this is the uh, basically in the table. So what we will do? We will find out now the summation of amount on each year on each type. So sum of the amount from bank transaction table, and we will do the group by group by of uh, we'll, we want to find out the transaction on yearly basis so it will segregate the data accordingly okay. then what we will do 
I will, I will mention the here also that will be and some amount just to make it only as a yearly transactional yearly transactional amount null amount so So now it should be it looks like this. Now what we have to do? We have to filter out. We need only the type equal to Woodrow. So it will be looks like. So, would run transactional year is 2019. It should be 2021. It's 1068. So, what do you have to do? To hold this result, we will create a common table expression which will hold the intermediate result and we will use that particular CTE. Thank you for watching my video. In the Please do like, subscribe, and query. click the bell icon to get the new video. Live your life, live your dream. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Please do like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get the new video. Live your life, live your dream. Thank you. Okay. So, so here uh, it will hold the result. And what we will do in the same way, we will find out the deposited amount on each year. So, we will give this alias to something else city deposit. And okay so what we will do here we have to mention deposit and we'll just make this name as a deposit transactional year we'll make this name as a transactional Let's make it a So let's run it. So we'll see it is it our deposited amount 1610. Okay. So so what do we will do now? We have a, we have two table where we have we already find out the deposited amount yearly wise and withdrawn amount yearly wise. So now what we have to do? We have to join these two CTE to find out the current balance on each year. So what we have to do? For that one, select. We'll join this table on the basis of the year. On the we'll join these two table on the basis of uh, the year column. Select. So whatever the amount got deposited minus, we'll find out uh, this year first of all. Okay. Yeah. Comma. Then comma. Whatever the amount got deposited. Okay. And whatever the amount drawn.
from CTU deposit and I join CTU withdraw and on CTU deposited dot the, the year is deposit transactional year is equal to CTE Woodrow dot Woodrow transactional year. So basically, we are trying to join this table by the help of the year column. And we'll just group by this number. Okay, so we'll just give your alias to the particular uh, um, so current balance. So see, uh, what we'll do, we'll put the better understanding. We'll do the order by. So here we can see, I'll just drag So here we can able to see the current balance on each year. So this is the question being asked by one of the leading bank. And um, this is the uh, way to find out the result. Uh, if you have any other way to find out the result in a just way, please do, uh, do comment in the below. So thank you for watching my video. Please do like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get the new video. Live your life, live your dream. Thank you.